high. Most medications are useless. Why? Because these medications can't cure eight types of health issues. Diabetes, hypertension, lipid abnormalities, cardiovascular disease, non-alcoholic fatty liver, polycystic ovarian, cancer, and dementia. These are not druggable, meaning you can't cure them or treat them by medicine. However, when you have any issue, any health issue, even if you can't sleep, even if you have a little bit tension or stress or something like that, you will go and see the doctor. And the problem with most doctors, we, they will prescribe you medications and they will never talk to you about food. What are you eating? What type of food are you eating? How big is your meal? How many times you eat? And these medications will start by one, then second, then third, then fourth, then fifth, etc., etc. And according to Professor Dr. Peter Godzi, who is a professor at the University of Copenhagen, he says, according to a research done in the United States in 2010 or 2012, I can't recall, he said there are 200,000 people die from medication complications. They are taking too much uh, medicine. And uh, they, they die while they, they just follow the doctor's advice. The doctor prescribe uh, some kind of medication, take this, take that, these people die. And now we know that doctors and nutritionists studied whatever they studied, which was designed by the pharmaceutical industry and the food industry. We know that. And these are the companies and organizations are supporting uh, top organizations in the state. And actually they give too much money for to support the USDA, the office that produces the US dietary guidelines for Americans. However, many people believe and know that if you have diabetes, you will not stop taking medication for life. I'm talking about type two. I'm talking about type two diabetes. You will not stop taking medication for life or high blood pressure is the same. And most people also looking for a magic wand or a magic bill. Why? To solve the problem. And this is not right. As if people wants to add something to their diet supposed to be reducing something from your diet, not to add something to your diet. Let me give you an example. If we have a river that we dump a lot of chemicals inside and that caused the, the death of fish, is it wise to say that we want to add something else, some chemicals, some uh, whatever, uh, for, for the fish to survive or to, to solve the problem? It will happen. Even if you have a cat become sick or fat, too fat, after you feed it uh, certain uh, things, you will stop feed it. So this is what's happening with us, except when we think about our health, we want to add something to our diet, which is not right. Let's dive into the root cause of all these issues. This is the human cell. Inside the human cell, there is something called mitochondria, known as the powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria produces the energy necessary for the cell's survival and functioning. Through a series of chemical reactions, mitochondria breaks down glucose into an energy molecule known as adenosine triphosphate or ATP, which is used to fuel various other cellular processes. Now, if we have mitochondrial dysfunction, our body will start storing fat everywhere, especially in the, on the liver, uh, inside the liver, and also outside or inside our stomach and around intestines. Now, what causes mitochondrial dysfunction? Stress is one. Poor diet is second. Poor diet. And poor diet doesn't mean you lack of food. No, it's the quality of food that you eat. It's not how much you eat. It's the quality of food that you eat. Another thing will cause mitochondrial dysfunction is the lack of essential fatty acids, especially omega-3s. Pesticides can cause it. Alcohol can cause it. Everything alcohol does to the mitochondria is designed to inhibit its functioning. Let's dig deeper. According to Professor Dr. Robert Lustig, uh, who is the author of Metabolical, The Lure and the Lies of Processed Food, Nutrition and Modern Medicine, he stated, 50 years ago in America, if you have a fatty liver, you were an alcoholic, period. Now 45% of Americans having fatty liver, 25% of children having fatty liver and obesity. What about people who do not consume alcohol? How, how they get it? How they get fatty liver? What is the common denominator? One thing acts exactly like alcohol, which is this. The one that you can't seem to escape is dietary sugar. In 1963, John Yetkin, Dr. John Yetkin said, we now eat in two weeks the amount of sugar our ancestors of 200 years ago ate in a whole year. And as I said, sugar is in everything, in everything. So how to protect ourselves and how to protect our loved ones? 
simply start by cutting down sugar or even eliminate it completely and then start doing few things to beat not only to beat diabetes but also to protect yourself and your loved ones from any complications if you are in our channel for the first time i would like you to know that we are not only providing information but also changing and saving lives please be one of us and share this video with your loved ones and those you care about and if you would like to know more about me and what you will learn from this channel please continue watching hello diabetes challengers welcome to our channel my name is dr ali qasim and i have discovered that i have diabetes in 2007. our channel is about giving you a new perspective on your health that will empower you and allow you to make healthy changes for a healthier you. Once you understand how much power you have over your health and your body, you will become excited about how much you can do. And then when you make the decision to become a master of your health, you will change to new healthier habits. Because as long as we keep the old habits that cause all our health issues, we will not get any better. Once you make that decision, you will have control over your body rather than your body controls you. I started taking my medication in 2011 until 2017. At that time, I used to take uh, four types of medication, metformin, Jardians, Diamicron, and Tragenta Dole. And at that time, my HbA1c was 10.7. And because of the harm these medication made to my body, I decided to stop taking these medications completely. At once in one night, I decided not to take any kind of medication and adjust my diet. In two weeks time, I managed to control my blood sugar from 9.8 to 5.4 or 5.5 since then until today without any medication. And I will share all the information and all the experience with you. I have studied diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity. My references for food science, uh, are Harvard University, Mayo Clinic, USDA, Food Standard Agency UK, and uh, Food Authority Australia, and other universities and authorities. I take the numbers and the research from all these sites and universities, and I will take the average and put it in my videos. And my references for medicine and nutrition are, uh, number one, the first doctor that I followed uh, since 2017, who helped me uh, to, to stop my medication and uh, treat and deal with type 2 diabetes, naturally, Dr. Jason Fung from Canada, who has three famous books, The Diabetes Code, The Cancer Code, and Obesity Code. Thank you so much, Dr. Jason. And Dr. John Yetkin from UK, who has a very famous and fantastic book called Pure, White, and Deadly, which I will give you its summary in the future. And Professor Tim Knox from South Africa, who has published more than 750 scientific books and articles and he has been cited more than 16,000 times in scientific literature. And Professor Dr. Robert Lustig, with his famous and great book, Metabolical, The Lure and Lies of Processed Food, Nutrition, and Modern Medicine. And Professor Peter Gotze, with his great book also, Deadly Medicines and Organized Crime. And other noble and great doctors, whom all of them, all of them are against what this man, Ansel Keys, has done to humanity. In this channel, you will learn scientific information about diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, about food, uh, like fruit, like vegetables, meat, fish, spices, vitamins, minerals, and almost every edible thing. My body weight used to be 110 kilograms, and within three months, I dropped 27 kilograms. Uh, and since then, until now, as you can see, my weight is 83 which is the ideal weight. You will understand how amazing your body is and you will learn to master your health, stay healthy naturally and have a quality life. Not only you will add years to your life, but also you will add life to your years. If your health is important to you, I suggest you join the Challengers family, those who challenge diabetes, and do not forget to hit the bell button so you will not miss any new video because maybe a solution or an answer to your question uh, is in that video. I would like to thank all our family members, those who join the channel, and those who are going uh, to join with my heartfelt gratitude. I hope to see all of you over the top with a healthy, wealthy, and prosperous life. Thank you for watching with my heartfelt gratitude.